Hi kids, Mike Kelly for AnimatorsForum.com. Um, Remember I asked on the forum uh, about the upstage and downstage hands, and it got me to thinking I wanted to show you very quick how I do uh, all of my hands, as, as well as my feet. I'm going to show you that in a second. I know feet aren't quite the same thing, but with hands I use switch layers, okay? So, yeah, and yes, I do know there's a difference between hands and feet. Um, <laughs> it's, here's here's uh, my file for hands. So if you look, this is my uh, default file. It's called the downstage hands. It's called downstage hands, even though I use it for both downstage and upstage. I'll explain that in a second. But um, so it has all of my switch layers that I've drawn, all these various hands. And one of the things you might notice, hopefully you do, you can see it on the screen, is that the hands are centered around the origin lines on this uh, in this file. All of my layers, every single one of my layers, uh, is is made at the default position, so there's no layer changes to it. I haven't applied any transforms, any rotates, or I'm getting junk mail as it comes in here. Uh, I haven't applied any rotate or scaling or, uh, tran or, or translations. So they all share these same origin points. And if you'll notice, if I go into, maybe turn this into, whoops, that didn't work, turn this into wireframe, uh, you'll notice that the, the translation points, I mean the origin points, line up very specifically on these construction points on the hand. The reason for that is I want all my hands to be easily switched in and out and to line up exactly the same. And, and I'll show you how that rotates. So uh, when I'm constructing the hands, I want them uh, to share this commonality. So if I go, for example, to another hand, uh, let's, go to, um, let's go to this one here. Whoops, and then you'll see it also is lined up right on those construction points. See, so that's so this part would be uh, uh, where it's going to connect to the uh, to the actual wrist. This is kind of the palmish portion of the hand, and it it's a semicircle because what my hands do is they rotate around through that uh, semicircle rotation. Um, so uh, so what happens is I have both downstage and upstage hands. And I'm going to uh, show you, I'm going to load in a file. I want to do the same thing with the feet. I'll bring in the feet real quick just to show you. Because uh, as long as we're here, uh, 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 downstage feet. And again, my feet, as you'll see, there's the origin point, And they line up with the construction of the, uh, of the foot there. OK, get that the same way. So. Uh, if I'm looking at, at different boots, for example, uh, the, the, even though they may have some extra things, they all share that origin there. See, this has a little tassel, but it still wants to come out to that origin of that leg so that that leg will match up on there. You can see like that. And, uh, you know, there's just the different, different feet that I, the shoes that I use. Okay. So they all match up. So those are hands and feet. So now if I go to, um, a file here. I want to show you how this works here. So here's my jester. And I've loaded in, if you can see over here, there's a downstage hands right here. Okay. So I'll zoom in. So there's a downstage hand. And we'll go into here. And if I uh, if I rotate that hand, it rotates around that common point. The bone, because of my auto rig, is actually placed right in the center portion of that of that rotation, but you can do the same thing. You can you can create your bones to where it rotates. So now, if I if I go through and then use my tools to, uh, well, I won't use them. I won't be I won't be fancy here. I'm not proud. I'll I'll flip it to uh, another hand. So you notice the hand matches up nice and evenly because it's exactly created in that same uh, same zone of existence. And you can even see the origin lines are still there. See those origin lines here. If we zoom in here. See how those origin lines are right where that bone is on that on that pressure. So if I if I change to um, you know anything else, pointing my hand, so you can see those origin lines stay exactly the same, and that's exactly how that hand's constructed, and that's why it lines up so nice and neat there. Okay, so you'll okay. Well, but you said but you said you had upstage and downstage hands. Well, the upstage hand is actually let's go here. We'll move this out. The upstage hand is the same as the uh, downstage hand, it's just flipped in the axis. So um, let, me, let me get to where the, one of the hands here. If I go to the upstage hands, 
the upstage hand, see I have an AUH a default, that's the upstage hand default, but I can flip it to the downstage hand default as well. And if I find it, it's here somewhere. <laughs> I have a whole different method of selecting these. I have a tool that actually selects these uh, by just pointing at it and holding it down. So, uh, so you might say, well, yeah, but that doesn't look right. Well, it doesn't look right if his hand is this way. But what if I'm going to move his bone? What if I, excuse me, if I'm going to move the, the forehand in front of his arm, and now you see, as you can see, that's where the thumb would be on top like that. So uh, the upstage hands and the downstage hands actually have to be the same depending upon how the hand is in relationship to the body. Does that make sense to you? So in other words, if, if you move your arm and, and, and rotate it around, this is the right hand even though it's it's labeled a downstage hand, when it when it comes out away from the body, then uh, that's still okay. But if you were going to open up the palm to that that hand, then you would also need it uh, facing the other way. I hope I'm making some sense to this. <laughs> so there's facing the other way. It's opening up, and the same on this side. You know, if he were to uh, you know bring bring his arms up here, he's going to uh, you know raise his arm up. And uh, he could, he, you could bring your, your hand down if you try it with your hand. You can do this, but you can also flip your hand around the other way. And uh, so if we, if we move it to there, you can go like that. So, so yes, there is an upstage and a downstage uh, hand, but I use all the, hand, the same hand positions because I can use them all the same way. I just have different defaults set that way, depending upon how the arm is positioned uh, and so how you would, you would normally be, uh, be using it. So I hope that makes sense. And, and the feet are the same way. Notice, and I wanted to show you here, the, uh, in my auto rig process, it knows there's a sleeve, so it doesn't try to match up those, those construction points. But here, the construction points are matched up perfectly. So the reason for that is that uh, when I go in to, uh, to change my feet, and, you, and you'd have this the same way if you were gonna do your hands. So if you were, if you were going to do, um, you know, rather than sleeves, if you had you know, the, 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 the forearm showing there, you would want to have the uh, you know this, the, the things match up. So here you can see that that it matches up very nicely for the jester. Uh, the same for our sock sandal. So you know so the construction points there match up to those uh, to the legs. So that's why you wanted to draw the, all them the same. If that makes sense to you. So hopefully I haven't I've gone on way too long, but uh, that's that's how I do my switch layers for my hands. Uh, I, I recommend doing them that way, and that's certainly how you, I think you can do them for, for the feet. I think that's a, uh, if you need to, but, but at least it, it, you can construct your feet the same way, but certainly the hands. You want to construct your hands that way. Use the same hands for both sides, and then, uh, by the way, I want to show you this one real quick, too. I don't know if you noticed this, but, uh, but when I rotated this, uh, this bone, notice that the hand, oops, didn't switch back there. I it will, though, in a second. Yep, yeah, see, I have it. I have it auto switching. So, it, if I rotate this bone outward, like this, and then I rotate this other bone, notice that it goes it, it goes over the top and over the back. That's automatically. That's just done with a smart bone. Okay, that's kind of cool. Anyway, um, so uh, it's Mike Kelly for AnimatorsForum.com, and thanks for listening. And we'll talk with you again soon.